All right, so a couple pieces of good news. First off, this is the hardest part, and second, we're over halfway done with it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go over to this side. We're going to make a new sketch on this. Right-click, use Project Geometry to click inside the middle of the rectangle, then move your mouse. Make sure it turned yellow. Say OK. And that means that I can actually click on that corner with my two-point rectangle. I'll do the exact same thing I did on the other one. I'm going to make a couple rectangles. Um, I'm going to make this a little different and see if this helps us. We'll still do the horizontal constraints down here. Boom. Boom. Uh, we do want these to be a half inch, so 0.5. right click and go to line and I want these to be my 45 degree angles again and all I'm doing is I'm clicking the corner I'm clicking again I'm right clicking I'm reselecting line it's just a quick way to go around that and draft those out I'm still gonna go back to trim and I think I'll trim off just the top of the box this time uh oh, that's the kind of stuff you have to watch for with sheet metal. Make sure you actually hit your corners where you said you were. Um, but here's what we're going to do different. We are going to make that into a construction line. I feel like we did this before too. It just didn't work for us. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't like that. Well then, we'll just delete that whole line and start over new. From that corner. Did I get the corner? I missed it again. Okay. Too many green dots. There we go. Wow. This really doesn't like me. Okay. Let me battle with this just a little bit more here. Hopefully you're more successful than I am. Okay. <sighs> now that we have this kind of locked in place on the one side and on the other side, we have a half inch. We want to make these 45 degree angles. I'm going to type in 45. I want this to be a 45. I want both of these to be 45s. I do want that to be a construction line. I think we're good here. Let's double check that's actually a half inch, and it is. Check that's actually a half inch. It's not, so I'll fix that. It's important to keep those at a half inch and 45. This is still green. Green means bad. It means it's not fully constrained. So I'm going to have to grab my horizontal tool and straighten out that line. Okay, now we have all dark blue. Uh, we should be good. Let's finish our sketch here. Go back to face. Face is that one. Okay, make each of those. Flip it over. So we're looking at the inside of the box. Click to select the inside, right click and go to New Sketch, hit your F7 button, right click, use Project Geometry and click on the inside of this shape, right click, go to Line, go from the top corner to the bottom corner of each side, top all the way down to the bottom, say OK. Let's finish this sketch and we're going to go back to fold again. Make sure it's going to go out. So you may have to flip your arrows around. You did the same thing to me again. I'm going to have to go back in here, say new sketch, right click, project geometry, F7, use my line, go from my top down to the bottom, finish my sketch, Go to Fold, 
and we're going to fold that in. Okay. Now, I want you to check one thing. If this works, this part is done. Go up here to where it says Create Flat Pattern and click the button. Oh, you know what? We're not done. There's one more thing I was forgetting. We can't leave a sharp edge up here, or here for that matter. So let's go back to the folded part. And to fix that, we're going to make another sketch on here. Right click and project our geometry on this rectangle. I want a two point rectangle that starts at this little yellow corner. And I'm going to, I guess I'll just click over here somewhere. The distance between these two lines needs to be a half inch, 0.5. Okay. Use my line tool to go from that corner up. Oop, I missed. Right click, go back to line again. There we go. Dimension. That should be a 45. That should be a 45. And then we should be able to go trim, 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 trim. We'll make that a construction line. We will make that a construction line. Finish our sketch. And this new shape that we just drew, we're going to use a face to give some thickness to it. On the other side of it, We're going to click it to highlight, right click, new sketch, right click, F7, project geometry, line, finish our sketch, go back up to fold, and I want this top piece to fold down, so I have to flip that, 90 degrees, this time we're going to go 180. Want to fold all the way in half and say apply. Okay, we're going to do the exact same thing here on this side. So, new sketch, right click, project geometry, two point rectangle. We want that to be a half inch tall. See how that's still green? It's really not good that it does that. Okay. We want to make sure that vertically aligns with this other point down here. Let's use the vertical alignment tool. Use my line. Uh, draw an angled line there. An angled line there. Trim. Trim. I'll make this one into a construction line it still has that attached to it and I want 45 degree angles between here again you just click on the two lines click in between type in 45 okay make sure that's still a half inch something moved on me so it wasn't and uh, we'll finish our sketch we'll say face Rotate that dude around. Click, right click, new sketch. Right click, project geometry. Now that I have my two corners showing, right click, go to line. From one corner to the other corner. Finish our sketch. Go to fold, line, and it needs to fold down 180. Now, fingers crossed. Make a flat pattern. Looks perfect. Awesome. Go back to your folded part. Save this. And call it um, box. There we go.